hey what's up besties so today i decided i will let you guys in to how i do my nails and how all that stuff goes so i'm in the nail shop right now which is my room <laughs> i've converted a little area in my room into like i already had a desk and stuff in here i really wasn't utilizing it so i decided to just add all the things that i had for my nails and all of that stuff in there so we're going to start with a fresh set of like clean hands i already today i took off my nails earlier and i had to take bubba to the monster truck show so that just gave him time to like breathe and all of that stuff before i get to drilling and all of that so i hope you guys people have been asking me to do this video so if you didn't want to see this video if you came to my channel for planning and budgeting like uh, well technically this is a budgeting this is technically a budgeting video because this is showing you how to budget and save your money by budgeting like doing your nails on a budget like doing your own nails is budgeting does that make sense so this is like saving your coins so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get started this is one of the things i wear just like at the nail shop to protect my um self from getting all of the debris and stuff in my nose and my eyes and that's what i think happened the very first time i think you guys knew like back in september i got um pink eye and i think that was from i had my contacts in i didn't have these on and i was just sitting there drilling away um with the poly gel and i think that's really why or how i ended up getting the pink eye because of the um, debris coming up in my eyes so now i just made sure i have one of these which these are really cheap to get you can get them for um sally's or um amazon has a big old pack of them as well and then i just have these safety glasses which i had like multiple pairs around from just wearing them home from work and forgetting um this these are actually back from when i was um working at the medical facility i was at so it's a whole thing right okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take you around the nail thing so you guys can see all my supplies and all of that and here we go hey. <laughs> okay so i thought i would maybe start over here um this will be a good area to start so this is my light that i have here and this is what the light looks like and i have this it goes into different levels so you can like turn it on all the way up or turn it whatever and then i can bring the light all the way down here or i can have the light like move i can change it i really like this light a whole lot i just think it's an awesome light to have and it's a desk lamp and if you ask me where i got it from i probably would have to tell you i got it from amazon <laughs> okay so this is just my little dish i usually keep like alcohol or um acetone in it it's like a i forget dampening dish um i think that's what they call it um so i have one of those and then i have this drill and this is the bestity bestity drill create your own style and i really like this one because it has the control like the remote control over here on the side but if you guys can see i actually have it plugged into my lamp so it goes in there and i could just keep it plugged in whenever my lamp is plugged in my drill is plugged in and i don't have to worry about it and it just usually sits over there then i have my extra drill drill bits um and these would normally be cleaned off but like i told you guys i took my other nails completely off this morning and so i was like drilling off the gel um but i have a ton of little extra bits as well that you'll see like the um whatever those are called but these are the drill bits and i have some ceramic ones that are coming from amazon um as well i decided to get that because i don't have the bit that's needed for me to remove um gel polish off so that's a whole thing all right um oops a little rose never hurt nobody okay so let's get into the polishes these are the polishes that i grabbed from beetles this is an excellent excellent way to start off your gel polish collection these are i think this whole set was like 20 three dollars because i think it was 27 but they had like a five dollar off special on amazon i'll have all of this stuff linked below in my um, description box i have a full store with everything that i bought to kind of get started and um it'll help you out so you guys can see all the colors um some of them if you see the numbers on there those came from a different set but all of the little small ones it came it comes with um a top coat a and a base coat and then you also get like 
what is it 20 something polishes i think it's a whole lot of polishes and then i just grabbed i had grabbed these before um just trying to build up my collection so that's some and then the model ones kit that i had purchased before these were a part of that whole little set so that's why i have those over here but you guys can see like i have pretty much all the colors i could ever ask for they're all like in here and you know i have a good base to start off with and then i just have these little um finger paints and these are just for like little lines and stuff like that whenever i decide to get a little fancy if you guys have seen the lines on there um i am working on some designs and stuff but you guys know it's a whole thing so this box is the box that it came in and i just decided to keep it in there because right now i don't have anything on my wall or anything to hold it in so psh, there's that okay and this is like my little um what is this like container this is my little container and i have in here just another pair of my glasses i have my buffer in here and as you can see it's been used i need to get another one um eventually but it's just me doing my nails right now like i'm not doing anybody else's so i'm not like too pressed about having a whole bunch of extra stuff around because like literally this stuff can last when you're just using it on yourself okay so removing those glasses i need to find another place to put those so that they're not just in here like that um then i just have my um 100 by 180 nail file i love my hand nail file a lot these are the ones from mccart and they come in a whole package i'll show you in just a second and then this is like my cleanup brush and my dotting brush for when i want to do fancy stuff i use this for like getting the sparkles and stuff to like move around on my nails and this one too these were just makeup brushes that i had and I was like, why not use these makeup brushes, right? Like, it's a whole thing. Okay, um, and then her, is, this is my light, my lamp. And it's by Nature Plus 5. But when I got my poly gel kit, um, it actually came with all of this stuff. So it came with everything you would need to get started with doing the poly gel nails, like the nail forms and all of that. So it came with this lamp. But I think this one is um, maybe $14. It may, maybe $14. But it has um, a low heat mode, which is cool. But it's also a uh, 60 watt lamp. I have to look it up. It'll be down below. But I think it's 40, 40 watt. It's 40 watt lamp. And um, so it, it does really, really good. I love it. It's a um, UV LED light lamp okay moving on sorry it's taking so long so this is the twist and lock you guys see this probably at your nail shop where you just twist it off and like you press it down and some of the liquid comes up oh there it goes <laughs> and the liquid comes up so you have that just right there and it's just filled with acetone um and then here are the dip powders we're going to be using today which is the azure dip powder it's a clear one i decided to go with this one you guys know i like painting my nails so it's a thing and then i'm also thinking about trying this one i got it from sally's because i want to do a tan Oh, you guys will see the design I'm trying to achieve and then because I have um, a fear of running out of things I went ahead and bought some more of the just the activators from um, Lee Fu, which is basically model ones so this is a two-in-one base coat for the dip powder gel and then this one is the activator as well so you'll see how all of that stuff works because we're going to be using the um, dip powders today and in there just came another little file and a cuticle pusher backer thingy mabobber um, these are some clear nail tips that i'll be using today because i'm thinking i'm going to switch the shape i normally go for an almond or a stiletto shape but i think i'm going to go with square and see how that works for today i do my own nails so if i don't like it i can redo them again when i have time okay and then this was just a like little makeup thing that I had and I just decided to put all the things inside of there. So I have my Gelish, my pH Bond. This is perfect. This is what you need to start out with. It's a dehydrator. Um, I have my cuticle oil. This is California mango cuticle oil. Um, I'm pretty sure you can just use any cuticle oil you want to. I actually have another cuticle um, oil tube that I got from Model Ones. This came from there. 
and then I just have all of my little dip powders over here and then um, the previous model ones um, collection that I had this is the whole set and I definitely would recommend it because these are all of the ones you get with the set from model ones it's like $25 to get started and again you don't need a lamp for any of this you can just do all this stuff without having a lamp or anything so you get one two three and then there's a fourth one sixth one over there so the one two three four and then if you can see that bright pink red one looking thing back there you get that one too and then you get the activators and all of that in the set and I just think that is amazing okay so ooh, I'm running out of breath trying to breathe and talk over here child okay um so then right here I just have my little tools and things like that like just basically like little tools what I use to put my jewels on my little puff that I'll be using to remove the dust from my nails this was my poly gel as you guys know I I chose model ones because that's what um long hair pretty nails the video I watched that's what she had and she recommended it so I did a lot of model ones things and it's been pretty good between Mark Hart and model ones they have me sold um this is my nail clipper you guys may see me use that it's um the curved one i really like it though perfect for cutting down your nails and then this is like a little picker for picking out the jewels and things that you may want to use super easy to use and then my glue that i have here all of that okay and then i have these little you guys have probably seen them i actually tried one the other day and it worked and these are like the little leaves, like the holographic leaves and things that you can use underneath your nails. And it just creates like their leaves and butterflies on there. And it you encapsulate them on your nails. And it just makes this pretty, pretty feature. You guys have probably seen the flames as well. But I went for the leaves because I saw the leaves and it was really, really cute. And I was like, oh, it is, it's like fall time. And yeah, so that's the whole thing. So I'll probably end up getting some more. But those are like maybe $7.00. And I think there is like someone selling them somewhere else for quite a bit more. Um, okay, so oh, that, that's me. It's just me, guys. It's just me. Um, nothing in that drawer. I was holding that gel um, stuff that I was using to keep my nails on with. And that was a bust.com. So I sent it back. So now it's just a picture of me there. Um, these are the leaves that I purchased which I really, really like those. Like, oh, they're so cute. So I have all the colors. I can do any color leaf that I want to do. And, fall. and then down here in this one, these are my paint pots. So I have different color um, of the gel paint pots. And so you'll, you'll see what it looks like when I get further in. And I just ended up getting another, I got two sets of the paint pots and it ended up like giving me two of the same colors so that's the thing these are my glitter nail gels if you guys don't get anything else for today like make sure you grab these if you like glitter it they are amazing and you're gonna see it today because i think the color i'm gonna use is gonna be this one but i have like a classic black i have a um like a silvery one i even have a blue like this two different kinds of gold so like this is like super gold like gold gold and then this is more of a champagne gold and then my tiffany pink one which i love to use i'm gonna end up probably buying more of those because they're just awesome to have and so then I have my um, cleansing alcohol, and my pure acetone over here. This nail polish needs to get thrown, the nail polish remover needs to get thrown away. That's why that's there. And then I just have my alcohol spray bottle that I keep on the desk as well. Okay, so getting into, oh Jesus, this is a 13 minutes. I'm just showing you my nail stuff. Maybe I'll have to make this a separate video. But anyway, um, and then these are the disposable cloths. Like, so when people say like lint-free wipes, those are the ones I got from Sally's. Um, and then this is what the Model Ones kit came with. My extra nail files, extra dotting tools. This is the poly gel. If you guys are interested in poly gel nails, I highly recommend using the Mark Hart brand this is a really good brand it's very tacky um and works very well um i just have some extra like nails that when i was wearing my press-ons some extra paper towel here to on my desk some glitter um i can literally go in and do a nail like a nail polish swap on all my nails these are my other nails that i got and these are already shaped in the um 
what is this coffin form these are already shaped in the coffin and I like these because you can literally like make presso nails for yourself with these if you wanted to like this is definitely a thing and these are from EC basket only thing I didn't like was that it came in a bag instead of coming in the little pouch like that so that was a whole a whole thing all right so I've walked you guys through my whole little makeshift nail shop so stay tuned for the rest of how I do my nails